Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I just wanted to do a little update on the satellite tracking software I use. I get this question regularly when uh, I post videos of satellites that I've received on my receivers and of course um, I am a Windows user so the software that I use and the one that I think is personally the best Orbitron great satellite tracking software it's available here I'll post the link in the description below the video. The uh, interesting thing about this software is, is it's not been updated for a long time, but it still works even if you're in Windows 10. And so this is cool because it's one of those software that's still compatible uh, with all versions of Windows, basically. So uh, whatever machine uh, you have, you can install this. And you know what? It's a great way to transform, for example, an old machine that you don't use anymore, like with Windows XP, for example, uh, into simply a satellite tracking computer. Why not? I mean, this is cool because you can recycle an old machine that you don't use anymore for at least doing a specific purpose. In this case, satellite tracking. Um, there's a little catch if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, you need to give the software administration rights if you want to have the updates to the satellite files, or else it can't write the files on the hard drive. So if you need, or if you want this piece of software, uh, the link to this is in the description below the video, and you download from here on the right side, you see here, Site 1 USA, Site 2 Germany. You can download it, install it, and the trick that I am talking about is once it's installed, you'll have an icon for Arbitron. Right-click on it, go into Properties, go into Compatibility. Personally, I run it in Windows 7 Compatibility mode. But what is the most important, down here, put a check mark in front of Run This Program as an Administrator. If you don't, the uh, satellites won't update. That means you won't be tracking correctly. So uh, make sure that you do that. Once that is done, you can enjoy a beautiful piece of software that I can show you here. So this is what I track in satellites. So of course, all the satellites that I've chosen are here. And uh, you can click a satellite and track it and uh, see how, you know, if you receive it at your location or not. And uh, it's a lot of uh, fun to uh, check out. And of course, if you want to try to, hear or listen to uh, some satellites that I've been actually tracking, well, you'll be able to do that with this. Uh, one little thing that you uh, need to do also, don't forget that you got to set your location. It's very important because you got to know where you are for the satellites to be tracked correctly. And uh, for those that wonder what are the satellite lists that I use, I typically will load by clicking load here, amateur uh, then I will use the NOAA, the ORPCOM uh, satellites, and that's pretty much it, because uh, this contains pretty much all the uh, different satellites, radio-related satellites of, that are of use for me, basically. Uh, and of course, once you've chosen that, you make sure that you update the satellites regularly especially for the International Space Station that is uh, in uh, a course correction quite regularly. So that's it. I hope you enjoy. The link to the download for this software is in the description below the video. Don't forget to put it in administration mode and you're all set up to uh, just, you know, track satellites and maybe listen to them on your radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.